Hi, this is us. You're watching Mr. Us channel on YouTube. In this video, we have a topic on network topologies. So we know in a network there will be different computers. But the question is how this network is setable and what is the shape of that network? How computers are connected in the way? So network topology defines us that in a network how computers will be connected together and what will be the shape for them. A network can be configured or arranged in different ways. The physical layout or arrangement of connected devices in a network is called topology. So the physical layout, the arrangement, how they are connected together, this is topology. It is the shape of a network. Different network topologies are as follows. We have bus topology, we have tree topology, we have ring topology, we have mesh topology and we have star topology. There are five topologies available due to which we can connect our different devices in a network. So, first, uh, first of all we have bus topology. In a bus topology we have one route and we have second route. In the route there are devices connected. But if the route is destroyed by something all the devices will be disconnected. So this route is the basic essential thing for these devices to work on. If this route is expired, broken up or destroyed, it means you cannot perform any task. You cannot share data from one device to another device. So first of all we have a bus topology. In a bus topology is the simplest topology and supports a small number of computers. Here you can see three computers. In a bus topology, all computers are or network nodes are connected to common communication medium. So here you can see we have a common communication medium, this line. This medium is often a central wire known as bus. So this is also, you can see it, a bus, which is used for uh, saving for sending data or receiving data like a bus for sending and receiving uh, passengers. This medium okay, is a bus. The termination are used at the end of a bus to absorb signals. So these terminations are used so signals do not go anywhere. So they remain inside this network. Next we have working of bus topology what is the working in the working you can first of all see this graphic here the sending computer sends the data so for example this sending computer sends the data and destination address so if this computer wants to send the data it will send the data and the address for example this address so the data goes to this computer if this address so data goes to this computer through the bus the data and address move from one computer to other in the network each computer checks the address so this data will go to first this computer if address match this will be here but if address doesn't match then it will go for the next one computer here if it matches with the address of a computer the computer keeps the data otherwise the data moves to the next computer okay here are some advantages we have the very first is it is simple and easy to use next we have it requires small length of cable to connect computers third it is less expensive 
both it is easy to extend a voice. It allow more computer to join the network. Fifth, we have if one node fails, it doesn't affect the rest of the network. So if this computer fails, it doesn't affect other two computers. Okay. So here are some disadvantages for it. It is difficult to troubleshoot. If there is a mistake, this there is a damage in the bus medium. So this is very very difficult to solve it. Next we have it only supports small numbers of computer. It only supports uh, supports small numbers of computer. The third one is main. If number of computer increases, network speed will be slow down. If the computers are becoming more, then the speed will be decreases due to this way. So gonna see you in the next video. Uh, goodbye for now. This was the bus topology. This is the network topology. The very first. Bye bye for now.